twice alive. To see what's there and not already patterned by familiarity, for an unpredicted whole is there, casting a pair of shadows, manipulating its material, advancing, assembling enough kinship that we call it life, our life, what is already many lives, the dimensions of its beauty veiled to us as we live it. Across the cytoplasm of adjacent cells goes a signal that turns you toward me, turns me into you. We are coupled in quiet tumult, convergent argument, an alien rhythm becoming familiar, a rhythm of I am here, never to be peeled away. We are become one thing, listening for what's there and not. Through the storm, live oaks on the hill stamp wildly in their roots. We have passed through the spring, but what thing has passed through us? Now your laughter transparentizes me, and whose sense of the self doesn't swerve? Your unconditional foreignness grows conditional, stops being foreign at all. With your nearness, my lens on the world shifts. A peristaltic contraction courses through us as a single wave. No longer can we keep our distance, our lips brush, or the tips of ourselves. But what language are you whispering to me? your teeth slightly stained by mate, above the trills and whistles in the trees, above the screech of a bulldozer blade shoving rubble up the wounded street, above the silence of an eyeless tick climbing a grass stem. I understand nothing but the lust your voice incites, the exclamatory tenderness. How and who can say what force has queued up this hour for our small voices to merge into a carnality that did not exist before. Come to this unforeseen conjunction. We slip into one another. We take hold in a pulse of heat, in a yes and no, for already we can see we are no longer what we were. As I find you within me, not fused, not bonded, but lodged, and for you, is it the same, the intensity of such investment, each of us excited by the volatility of the other, which propels us in a rush as something, perhaps our lips brush or the tips of ourselves, stripping away what, what was before, was there even anything before? The reconfiguration is instantaneous experience. It is being itself. But who's being now? Was I endowed with some special pliability so that becoming part of you, I didn't pass through my own nihilation? And what does the death of who you were mean to me except that now you are present con constantly? Because excess is what it took for us to transform, to a fulge. You cast your life beyond itself. Can't you sense me with your ecstatic openness, like rain mingling with red earth? Without you, I survived, and with you, I live again in a radical augmentation of identity, because we have effaced our outer limits, because we summoned each other. In you, I cast my life beyond itself. 